Hi, Gene Roach here. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, economics, uh, the economic slump, underemployment. That's probably the best way to put the topic, underemployment. Uh, that's something I know a little bit about since uh, I left the corporate world in uh, oh, 1998, I believe it was. I spent 22 plus years in the corporate world, in the cubicle world. Uh, since then I've been uh, self-employed and sometimes it's been better than others. Um, right now I am, um, I can speak for a lot of people I suppose. I'm the uh, front end of the baby boom generation which means that uh, I'm old enough to have experienced some of the issues of uh, employers not necessarily wanting to hire you. But let's get the, let's broaden this out. Let's get it away from me. Let's talk about the uh, economy in general. In the last seven years, we've been in an economic slump. I don't think anybody's going to argue that. You've, you've heard that in the newspapers. You've heard it from our politicians. You've heard it everywhere. Um, so let's look at some of the statistics, some of the facts and figures. Um, we are going to focus right now on the 25 to 56, I'm sorry, 25 to 54 uh, age group. Now, the reason for that is uh, it takes the older folks like me who are just kind of scooting into retirement, takes them out of the picture, and it also takes the uh, bulk of the uh, full-time students out of the picture. So, let's go for the last seven years, uh, 25 to 54 working age group. Uh, at the beginning of the uh, economic downturn in 2006, Let's take a look at how many people were working. 80.7% of, of the people in that age group were working. 80.7%. Um, by 2011, we had pretty well bottomed out uh, of the economic slump. Now that's five years. Um, and it had dropped by about 5% to 74.6. Now then, we uh, started back upwards, so the number of people working was increasing. Remember, we started out at 80.7, we bottomed out at 74.6, and then we gained about half of that. We've regained about half of the number of people working to 77.3% in 2014. All right, let's look around, kind of look at the other side of the coin, if you will, and the number of people working part-time. In 2006, 3% uh, three, three of this age group were working part-time. As things got tougher in 2010, the number of part-time employees had, were, uh, had risen to 6.6%. And as we started to uh, turn the economy back around uh, in 2014, again, we were just about halfway back to where we started at 4.8% uh, of the, the uh, people in that group being part-time. So we started at 3%. Uh, topped out at 6.6% and we're now back to uh, somewhere in the 4.8% range. So what do we do with that? Well, that means that people are searching for other sources of income. Uh, they're looking at uh, things other than jobs of working for someone else. So they're looking at more at things of working for yourself. And guess what? Uh, Self-employed people don't show up in those statistics near as well as people who are working for someone else. So let's talk about that. We'll get into that in for, into further videos. Thanks for your time. We'll see you soon.